Well, the Tampa Bay Lightning looked like a completely different team than the one that lost game four Saturday night to the Islanders. Uh, to say the Bolts dominated New York last night is an understatement. Lightning winning eight to nothing and Emily to take a 3-2 lead in the semifinal series. Sports anchor Kevin Lewis might need the rest of the show to show us how this all went down. It was night and day from game four, and it was an absolute beatdown. Now, players and coaches won't say this to you on the record, but this game was never in doubt once it started, and the Lightning set the tone from the opening faceoff, and that's not a symbolistic statement or a metaphor from the actual opening faceoff. 45 seconds in, Anthony Sorelli going to get things started. Steven Samkos going to give it up and get it back ping-pong style for his 30th career playoff goal. Still in the first period, Yanni Gord, we won't know if this is a shot or a pass. He will always say a shot, but it doesn't matter. Off Andy Green, it goes into the back of the net, and the Lightning are up 2-0. Alex Kalorn, the Harvard man, gets denied on his initial attempt, but watch this. David Savard going to shoot, and Kalorn, stick to itiveness, sticks it home, and it's 3-0 Bolts. Second period power play. Nikita Kucherov, Victor Hedman, Steven Stamkos is power play poetry, and the Lightning putting this one away early. Third period power play. Braden Point ties the franchise record with a goal in his eighth straight game. That's a playoff or regular season mark. His 13th goal of the playoffs. And the Lightning win 8 0, taking a 3 2 lead in the series. Well, Tampa Bay is 5 0 after a loss this postseason. And when tied at two, the team that wins game five in a best of seven goes on to win 80% of the time. Game six, Wednesday night, 8 o'clock at Nassau Coliseum on Long Island. Outside Emily Arena, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.